Hubert Sanders here with WCI. Let's go through a little discussion about stops and targets. Actually, more about stops and size more than anything else. So a lot of times I'll get into discussion with people going, I don't want to be stopped out. What do you recommend? Number one, don't trade. If you don't want to be stopped out, just don't trade. That's the best way to do it. I do, however, recommend that you use stops. If you don't use stops, you're kind of messing, you're playing with, with fire around an open tank of gasoline. It's just a matter of time before you explode. So one thing you can do, let's say that you're doing this and you're, let's say you trade futures and you trade, uh, let's say you trade 10 contracts on futures. Let's say on, this will be futures. Let's say on stocks, let's say you trade uh, 500 shares on average. All right. So what you can do is if you're getting wiggled out on every single thing you're doing because you're using such a tight little stop loss, think about it as a dog on a leash and you're, you've got the dog right underneath your feet and it's going to tangle you up and trip you up. We'll just give it a little bit more leash. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut your size in half. So instead of trading 10 contracts, you trade five contracts. And let's say on this one you used a two point stop loss. And let's say on your 500 shares, let's say you use also a, a two point stop loss, whatever you're trading. So you're also going to, on your stocks, what you're going to do here is you're going to cut your size in half too. So, so for futures, you would go from trading 10 contracts to five contracts and you'd raise your stop from two points to four points. It's the exact same money. All right. It just means you're going to be able to stay in the trade a little bit more longer and it's not going to wiggle you out so much. So for stocks, if you trade 500 shares, you're going to, you're going to cut that in half. You're going to trade 250 shares and then you're going to go from a two point stop loss to a four point stop loss at any time that you are frustrated with getting wiggled out. Cut the size in half and then double the stop. Good luck. Hope it helps. I'll see you on the next video.